Marcus Frost. Puck bounces down. Hayton trying to reach it. And Dawson couldn't hold the line. Now loose in front. Frost all alone the back. Headshot score! Morgan Frost gives Canada the lead. And a nice play by Leeson to keep this alive. And Frost all behind the defense by himself. All kinds of time to hold it. Make one move to the forehand, back to the backhand, and then slide this underneath. Matt Jogard in goal for day. Back across for Malte Setkov, who plays in the Swedish League for Malmo. He turns it over. Tip it. Banks it back to Glass. In comes Cody Glass. Swings that rink wide. Pass back and they score! Tip it, taps it home. On the sweet feed from Morgan. Clearly offside. And the assistant coach is now talking to Eller. They are able to to replay this, to review it. Hammered down by Schultz. Loose puck goes to Leeson. Back he goes to Bouchard, swings it across to Phillips. In comes Frost, Frost in, shoot, scores! Morgan Frost again! Two goals and an assist in the first period. Here comes Frost off the bench. He takes Valeno off on a change. He's got the beaver tap going. He lets everybody know he's come onto the ice. And because he's late, nobody's able to pick him up in the zone. He's going to get this shot through the five hole of Schultz. It beats Sogard on the short side. And what a first. Roger Contois in shoot. Sogard save. Rebound score. Contois follows up his own shot. It's four. Nothing Canada. Presence felt a solid hit along the boards, and then to get himself back into the play, he'll find the trailing spot. Glass will carry the puck deep, and as Glass carries the puck deep, the defenseman sags so deep he tries to block the shot. Now you don't get the shot, nor the player, and Contois with the rebound gets his fourth goal in the two World Junior Tournament. Lost the puck to Grunfig. Andreas Grunfig, the returning from last year, flips it down. Love down by DPS on a long lead pass to Suzuki. Things are changing. In comes Suzuki, feeds it back, and oh, they score! Frost again, the hat trick for Canada. All starts with Mikey DiPietro. The long clear up to Suzuki. Frost beats Victor Anderson back to the net. And Suzuki, head up. There's that little shoulder check, man. It doesn't take much. One quick peek. Glass's winger in Portland is a Dean who's too old to play in this tournament. Stadnika chance scores! Jack Stadnika on the feed from Glass. Power play goal. And the Canadians take a 6 0 lead. Bouchard will pick up the other assist. Watch how quickly he releases this puck. He just sweeps it straight past Shogard. Jack Studnika, second round pick by Boston in 2017. With 15 seconds to go on the power play, drops it off to Bouchard, ahead to Glass. In across the line is Cody Glass. And at the line, it's held by Tippett. Flips it back to Bouchard. Swings it across to Tippett, in, shoots, scores! Oh, and Tippett, power play, goal, 7-0 Canada. Three games. This year, the Danes have a chance to clear it out, but they actually hand it right to Tippett. He plays a little pitch and catch at the blue line. Bouchard's got another assist, and Tippett just rockets this under the arm of Shugard. Yeah. Minutes ago in the second period, Lafreniere. Chips that puck to the start of the net, couldn't find Anderson Dolan. Now, Anderson Dolan picks it free, spins and shoots, score! Jared Anderson Dolan, and it's 8 nothing. Captain the Los Angeles Kings, where he played five. He broke his wrist. He actually scored two goals in the game. He broke his wrist. He was hit, and then he scored two goals. The next day, it was bugging him. Turned out to have surgery. That was on October 27th. Hasn't Across to Smith. Extra skaters on for Canada. Leeson down to Hayton. Hayton loose behind the Danish goal, flips it back to Smith. Move across, Smith feeds it back, Contois scores! Maxine Contois. 
patience and some skill with the puck. This one starts back behind the net from Hayton. They work it around Mitchell and Smith at the top, and then as Smith moves and changes direction. Man, he's opened the bag of tricks tonight. And the crowd's still buzzing about that. Phillips gloves it down. Bounces back to glass across the Contoa. Tip that wide. Contoa wrapper and scores! Hat trick for Maxine Contoa. Then as the puck ends up back down the edge, look at Glass. He's looking for Contoa all the way. On the turnover, Contoa just can't tip the first shot, but it bounces off the end board, and he'll follow it to the front of the net. He closed off on the forecheck, misses it, and then he knows it. Dean's been a full year over there at the Red Bull Academy. Credit the time by Pierre Page. Credit Brian Savage. Whoa. And right off the draw, chance there. And Brent Leeson snaps it over the shoulder of Shogard, and it's 11-0. Well, that didn't even look like a scoring chance, and we get a look at why Brett Leeson leads the Western Hockey League, or led the Western Hockey League with 64 points when he left. He's now tied for second. 28 goals this year in 31 games. Takes a little bit of a turnover, and he's going to snap this up over Shugard's shoulder. Leeson, who plays in Prince Albert, would know Shugard from Medicine Hat. He turns and leans on this one. A pretty interesting story for Leeson. He's through the draft twice. He had 24 goals. Crossy goes to Frost. In for Leeson, scores! Frost to Leeson, 12-0 Canada. <laughs> Leeson's always been able to shoot the puck. The difference for him this year is Tim Hunter mentioned he picked up a second gear over the summer. His skating became stronger. Able to get himself into better places on the ice, perhaps. But there he takes a nice pass from Frost. And Frost picks up his fifth point. You see Leeson banging around at the front. Now he's going to find a little quiet area eventually. Oh, this is it. Quick pivot. Look how he opens up his hips to get him. And he drops it back to Leeson. Finds Contois, backhand shot, scores! Contois, his fourth. And that ties a Canadian record. The fifth player in Canadian junior history to score four goals in a game. The celebrations are long gone now. This well beyond a contest anymore as Contois takes the pass, spins on the backhand, and Rorth makes about half of a save. It hits his blocker and rolls right through. That long shot tipped by Stadnika. Entwistle back with it. Shoot scores! Mackenzie Entwistle, 14-0 Canada. And the Canadians will go right to center ice for the faceoff. Goals are starting to all look the same here. The puck moved around. There's a little bit of a loose puck, and the Canadians are quicker to it. They're stronger to it. Or remember way back in the first period, we were talking about the relentlessness of a, a team that's stronger than another. And eventually, the, the Danes just run out of gas. They just can't. Snooped up by Simone Lacoultre for the Swiss. He got bottled up there by Contois. Here's Suzuki. Swings it back. And Glass scores! Tony Glass, 36 seconds in. Canada's got the lead. The puck is turned over. It starts with a Maxine Contois forecheck. He keeps the play alive. And a terrific pass on the change. As Tippett had changed, coming straight off the bench is Nick Suzuki. He holds the puck, and Cody Glass finds the far post. What a feed through the feet of the Swiss defender, Gross. And Akira Schmidt is not able to catch up to Cody Glass's one-timer. A fantastic... Now Bowers knocks down that clearing attempt. In comes Bowers with it. Throws it back in front. They score! And Twizzle! Canada's back on top!
beneficiary of this play. This is the first bit of linked play in a while for Canada. Excellent breakout pass by McIsaac. Anderson Dolan starts the play. A good pinch down the wall by Josh Brook, and eventually Anderson Dolan will find Suzuki once. And then it'll be Bowers on the change as they roll through the line. They get a fresh group of players on the ice. Bowers finds Entwistle, the one-timer. Entwistle's back with it. Up ahead for Noah Dobson in the rush. In comes Dobson, shoots, scores! Noah Dobson fires it home, and Canada leads by two. On two, they're at the end of a shift. Watch how tired they are. Eggenberger can barely move. He's got to get off the ice, but he stays in the play. And as he stays in the play, look who can't catch Noah Dobson. Dobson is able to beat it, him up the ice. Then he gets to the outside of the defenseman. Yanis Mosher shows off some strength, and the New York Islander first rounder slides this between the wickets. Dean Contois for Tippett. He's got Bouchard racing in. In comes Tippett. Tibbetts back in the corner, Bouchard's alone in front, little back pass, Contois shoots, score! Maxime Contois, Canada's got the lead! Play, watch this breakout. Bouchard steps over the puck, simple pass, Phillips. Contois, excellent, over the top support by Tippett. He's gonna hold the puck deep behind the net. A blindside pass, it's probably going towards Cody Glass. It goes deep and Contois shots about five feet wide. It hits Kaut right in the backside and deflects into the net. A beautiful breakout from Phillips' simple pass to Contois' up pass. Back to Smith. Head across by Contois, back to Frost, to Smith. Smith along the reach, let's go! Tipped in front, and Campbell against the lead. Let's look at the break they get initially. Patera drops his stick. He would have been able to field that puck. Maybe the puck's cleared out. It doesn't matter. The puck is held by Canada, moved from Frost and Smith a couple of times, and Brett Lees and Camp directly in front of Patera deflects this puck about a foot and a half from the blocker side through the five hole. It's his first of the tournament, and Canada, or Brooke with it. Into the corner for Lafreniere. Feeds it down to Studnika. Back for Lafreniere. Shot score! Alexi Lafreniere! And Canada leads by two! This is two shifts in a row. Canada has been outstanding in the offensive zone. Cycling the puck, controlling the play. Lafreniere takes this little five-foot pass from Studnika, and this shot is perfect. Through the screen of and whistle and into the net. Parents, you go in now. Here's Kern back with it for the check. A centering pass for Local moving in. That's picked off and Stadnika brings it back up for Canada. Stadnika wrestles his man down and feeds ahead of Valeno. Drops it back. Enquistle in shoot. Scores! Mackenzie Enquistle strikes again. It's 4 1 Canada. But now he's got a goal in each of the three games. Starts here by just out-muscling the Czech defender is Jack Studnika. He pushes the puck to Joe Valeno. Valeno hasn't played very much either. You talked in the first period how Alexi Lafreniere scored in one minute of play. Valeno's had two shifts to my knowledge here in this period. He makes a nice play to Entwistle, who's beaver tapping the whole way up to let him know he's there underneath the glove. I like it, Gord, you know, I like more punitive stuff because I think that's how behavior changes. You just give two. Suzuki back door. Oh. They score! Morgan Frost on the feed. What a pass. <laughs> and Morgan Frost, he's got his fourth of the World Junior. Morgan Frost is up at the point here, Gord. We're talking about movement. It opens up creativity. Suzuki's got the play, but Frost has to move into that pass lane. You see the pass lane between the defenseman and the forward? If he doesn't move, it doesn't matter what Suzuki does. Frost opens the pass lane, and that is a beauty of a pass. And Canada's up 5-1. They're set into the corner. Not
in the middle of the circles. Top line back up for Canada. Glass along with Tippett. And Glass shoots and scores! Cody Glass! And Canada's got the lead! Oh, they did it again, the early goal. In face-off tied, the Russians have the puck, but Glass actually reaches in with his stick twice. He's got a long stick, a long reach. He poked it off the Russian defender one time, and then a second time he gets some help from Owen Tippett, who pushes it back to Glass, and the snapshot, short side, over the pad, past the glove of Kotchikov, and Cody Glass is second to the tournament. Frost up ahead now for Hayton. Barrett Hayton winds in. He was knocked down. Drops it back to Mitchell. In shoots scores. Ian Mitchell and Canada's got the lead. <laughs> University of Denver makes no mistake. Watch Ellie Tolvin into the middle of the ice, number 20. You've got to have a purpose. He's just skating in the middle. The pass turns and spins right past him and gets out wide. Canada's able to enter the zone, and Mitchell, from about 20 feet, puts this perfectly over the glove of Lukanen, and Canada has that first goal I was